Hey guys and welcome to this new current household video and this video is going to start a little bit differently than the other, the other ones because I haven't played with the lemon color family for a couple of months. I actually started another family on another save because I just felt like I needed something fresh. I really needed to start from scratch with another sim and so I did. And I actually tried to record a couple times a current household with this other family but for some reason I struggled. And I didn't do it because I was just not happy with what I did and I don't know, I was struggling so hard to make a current household with this other family that I just decided to not do it. But if you would, if you are curious to know with what family I was playing with and who are the sims that I was playing with, I can make one. So just tell me in the comments and I will try and record one more time another video with this other current household. But I just want to warn you, it may be a little bit messy because a lot of things has happened with this other family and I was actually playing with a long lifespan. So yeah, it's probably going to be a, a way, way messier than it's going to be for this video. And I actually didn't write down everything that has happened with this other family. So yeah, I, I may forget a lot of things, but yeah, if you're interested to see this other family, I can do it. But anyway, I don't know why, a couple of weeks back, I was feeling really nostalgic and I needed, I needed to go back to the lemon color family for some reason. I mean, so many things has happened with this family. They've been through so much and they've worked so hard to be where they are right now and I was just mi missing them, you know, they're my family. So I really want to go back and play with them. And so here we are today, but because it's been a couple of months, I need to refresh myself of some things that has happened and I've actually lost the paper on which I was writing down everything that has happened, so I will try and remember everything through the old screenshot that I've taken from the family and then once we've gone through all of the screenshots, I will go back into the game and show you what I did those last couple of days and see the family tree and yeah, let's try to go back into what has happened with this family. So anyway, in this screenshot there is Jeremiah and Bailey and actually it's quite sad because Jeremiah passed away when I last played with the Lemon Color family. So I'm kind of sad to see Jeremiah today. But yeah, it's quite cool. He was there reading a story to Bailey and she seemed to be so happy. I think, if I remember well, that Jeremiah and Bailey, Bailey had a really strong bond together. And actually, when uh, Barbara was a child, she went onto a phase when she needed to be close to one member of the household and she was so close to Jeremiah and that's actually when he died. So Barbara was really, really sad when Jeremiah passed away. And so here is Jeremiah giving a bath to Bailey and I think it's so cute. This is ba uh, Barbara playing with Mika or Micah, however you want to call her. And Micah actually passed away before Jeremiah and Jeremiah didn't feel a thing. He was in the room with her and he wasn't sad at all. Like, he was ready, I think, for Mika to pass away. And this is Aquini reading a book to Bailey and kissing goodnight to Barbara. And this is Bailey, look at her. She's actually quite, quite a cheeky girl, I think. And this is Mika in one of her last days on the same earth. Aquini doing the laundry. She was actually struggling a lot that day, I remember. Oh yeah, and this is a picture that Aquini has taken of Barbara and it was actually hung up into the vet clinic that Aquini invested in. Uh, since then, I've actually sold the vet clinic because I wanted for Aquini to have a bigger vet clinic. I think the one that she had was um, a three-star vet clinic and so there was a lot of people coming in and I didn't have enough room to place another exam table so I decided to build another one but it's actually way too expensive for the family to buy it so I just need for Aquine and River to make a little bit more money so as so as to them buy so that's sorry they can buy um, the new vet clinic that I've built for that I've built for them but yeah, they're, they're struggling a little bit right now to buy this new vet clinic. But anyway, this was a picture that Aquina has taken from Barbara. And this is Aquina and Barbara working on a school project together. And Barbara, she's a really studious child. Really, really. Oh, and this is Mika and Jeremiah. This is so cute. And yeah, this is when Mika passed away. And the only one who was really upset 
of Mika's passing was Oreo. Look at him. He he was so sad for a couple of days. And yeah, when Mika passed away, the Grim Reaper decided to do some yoga. <laughs> because that's just on point. And I've actually found a lot of pictures of Oreo either aging up or aging down. I don't know, because I actually gave him a treat so that he could stay with us longer. Uh, I'm not going to do that anymore. I tried for him to have a couple times kittens, but it never happened for some reason, so I'm giving up. I think the legacy of JJ and Gracie, Gracie is now over, and yeah, so I think that there he was actually aging down, I think. I'm not sure. This is Akuine working at the vet clinic, and here is Bailey petting Oreo, which I think was actually an old man at this time. And here, Bailey, who doesn't want to learn anything. <laughs> and yeah, Gracie, JJ, Azur, and Jeremiah keep coming back from the dead and haunting the house from time to time. And Gracie, she just loves being with the children. And this is Bailey on the top of her slide. And yeah, also Gracie, she loves wrestling with her son, Oreo. And this is really, really cute. Oh, and this is the day Jeremiah passed away. That was a really sad day. And he actually died on the same spot as Azur, <laughs> which was pretty, pretty weird. This is Bailey passed out. And yeah, also Mika came back, came back from the dead. And something actually pretty strange is that I gave Barbara the cat lover trait, but for some reason she, I feel like she's closer to the dogs than the cat, which is pretty weird. And here I've actually taken this screenshot because as you can see, there is Aquane in the back, Barbara playing with the bubble blower, and Bailey petting Oreo in the garden. And actually that day, the family spent the entire evening and afternoon outside. And that was really, really cute. And then when Mika passed away, I was actually missing having a dog in the family. So I've had the family adopt a little dog and his name is Buster. And he's a really aggressive dog. But for some reason, he has a really strong relationship with Barbara, which once again is really weird because Barbara is a cat lover person, but she loves dog more than cats, I think. <laughs> and yeah, as you can see, she has a pretty strong relationship with Buster, and she's the only one he's not aggressive to. So I think there's something there. And there, this is Oreo onto the vacuum, I think, and he's always there. Like, sometimes he's just starving on this vacuum, and then you know, I have the notification popping up and saying, Oreo is really hungry. Well, he has some food. He can just move from this vacuum, go eat, and then he can come back there. And this is actually what he does. But he he has to starve before going back and eat. Uh, this is actually River when he was fishing because he goes fishing way more right now. And I just loved, you know, this landscape and everything. It was really beautiful. And then the family adopted another cat because I wanted to try one more time for Oreo to have kittens. And so I adopted a Sphinx. Yes, and I just love those cats. They're beautiful. And this is Ginger. And she's actually pretty discreet. I think she's aloof. Oh, and look at that. This is Aquini and Azur together. I remember when I've taken this screenshot, I was just so happy to see Azur and Aquini spending some time together. And here is Barbara's birthday, and she grew up to be looking just like her grandmother and mother. She's exactly like Aquine and Azur. It's impressive. I'm actually wondering what Bailey's going to look like, but I think their birthday must be tomorrow. So maybe when I will jump back into the game, we can throw them a birthday party, which is going to be really exciting. And here is Bailey hanging her cat, her teddy bear cat. I don't even know how to call this. And here is Isabella Villariol, I think, if I remember well her name. And she is one of Barbara's closest friends. And Barbara has a little bit of a cross eye here. <laughs> this is River and Aquine having a nice dinner together. And Bailey and Barbara having a nice dinner together. And this is actually when Barbara and Bailey were coming back from class. They were directly going into the vet clinic to work with their mom. And River wasn't at the house. This is why Aquine, she'd rather have her girls with her rather than at the house by themselves. So this is why they're here doing their homework. 
And this is when Ginger aged up. And I have to admit that she looks kind of weird, but I really, really enjoy having a Sphinx at the house, really. And this sim that you can see on the left is Zoe Patel and um, Penny Pizza's daughter. Alice, I think this is her name? Alice Patel? I think this is her name. And she's also one of Aquinas' good friends. And this, I was so impressed because I got to have the family have a nice dinner time together. And I was so proud of myself to have all of them together around the table. And this is when Buster aged up and I was actually quite surprised to see that he was a small dog. I thought he would have been a bigger dog than that, but I'm actually really happy to have a small dog. I really don't play that often with a small dog because I think it comes from the fact that I grew up with big dogs and not small dogs. I tend to have bigger dogs in my Sims families, but I'm actually really happy to have a small dog with this family. And also, one of Barbara's hobbies is to play the violin, and she's not really good right now, but she's improving, she's improving. And here is um, Barbara and Isabella together at the pool, because I've had the family, I think, go out at some point with uh, Andrew and... I actually forgotten the name of one of Aquinas' brother. I want to say Aaron? No, there's no Aaron. Oh my god. Well, we really need to go back into the game. <laughs> oh my god, I forgot one of Aquinas' brother's name. Whoops. Anyway. Oh yeah, that was a day when Buster was really, really sick. So Aquinas took him to her vet clinic and took care of him. And at the same time... Oreo and Ginger actually made it together, or actually they tried for kittens together, but nothing happened. And also, Barbara tried to do some yoga, but I don't think this is something, something that she really enjoyed. She never really tried that afterwards. And this is when we actually neutered Buster. And this is the last picture that I've taken of the family before I stopped playing with them. So now I'm gonna jump back into the game and we're gonna see what has changed. All right, so there we are back in the game. And actually when I loaded the game, I received a notification saying that it was River's birthday. So I'm having Aquini work on baking a cake right now because I don't want for River to feel sad, even though, you know, we have until tomorrow, I think 6 p.m. to celebrate his birthday. So yeah, this is the house. I actually felt so good when I came back here and at first I was kind of lost but then, you know, you get accustomed again to where everything is. But yeah, really happy to be back. As you can see, Barbara has got a little bit of a makeover because I was kind of sick of all of the outfits that I set up for her earlier on. So I'm really, really happy to see her wearing new things and have shorter hair. But yeah, I tried to keep the kind of 80s style that I had for her. So yeah, also I actually remembered the name of Aquinas' brother that I've forgotten and it's Aiden. Oh, I was feeling so bad not remembering his name. Oh. Uh, why is River such in a bad mood? Is it because of the, the poop that was out there? I don't know. But in, in any case, he's feeling way better now. Aquinas, what's going on? Uh, no, thank you. Yes, because actually Aquine went back to to the doctor career just so, so that she can make some money on the side and then buy the vet clinic because what I'm actually thinking is that once Aquine buys the vet clinic, which is right over there and I've made a speed build of this vet clinic. I don't know if it's out yet, uh, but in any case, I will try and remember to link it in the description. But if the speed bill is not out yet, it's going to be out fairly soon. And you can already download this from the gallery and I will also leave a link in the description. But this vet clinic is way more expensive than I thought and Aquinic cannot afford this one. So yeah, I'm going to have her work for a little while in the doctor career so that she can make some money. And the idea is that once she buys the vet clinic, she can give it then to to Barbara because Barbara she really loves animals and I really see her as being a veter veterinarian and I really think that she would be really happy to inherit the the vet clinic anyway why is there no candles there what there's candles I don't see them anyway 
He wants to embrace Aquini. So actually, River is going to age up into an elder. Oh, I'm not ready. Okay. Let's do this. It's actually pretty good. La right there, <laughs> sorry. A little bit of French there. I really like that. Okay. So... You know what? It's actually quite late. We're going to have him brew out these candles with his family. And so as you can see, Barbara's birthday is tomorrow and Bailey's birthday is tomorrow as well. Okay, I need to take a screenshot of this. <laughs> oh. Oh. This is an old river. <laughs> river aged up seniority. Wrinkled bellies, frosty locks, and interminable naps await. Party like the Reaper's not right around the corner. Oh, I feel like I barely played with him. Oh, shall send River as a gift to Ashley and River aged up. Nice. Okay, so Bailey, she needs to use the bathrooms. So let's have her go and do that. Uh, Barbara. Oh, actually, I don't think I've shown you or showed you Bailey straight. So she's a slob. I've never really had a slob sim, and I hear there's a great party going down at the night at the nightclub right now. It's a blue velvet. No, but thank you. Uh, because yeah, I've never really had a slob sim, and when Bailey was a child, I just got the laundry day stuff back, and I wanted to see what was happening with the slob sim, and I kind of regret that right now. <laughs> but you know, it's okay. Uh, where is Buster? Why is Buster? See, he's so aggressive. What? What? Lecture about attacking. Oh, and he wants to go party. You know what? She's gonna go on a walk with him. We're... Well then. He doesn't need to <laughs> go on a walk anyway. Well, apparently he doesn't like you, Jacobo Everett. But yeah, actually, I'm working on this aspiration for Barbara. And she needs to be companion with one animal. And I'm actually trying to work towards this with Buster. I'm pretty sure that she can become companion with him by now. Increase to mate with. Mm -mm. No, she cannot right now. I don't know why. Oh, Aquino is already asleep. Actually, oh, River is not really that tired. Well, he's cleaning up the house. He seems really happy. I'm going to put the cake back in the fridge. There we go. Where's Bailey? She's right there. Already then. So what I'm gonna do actually, guys, is speed up through the night and I will resume tomorrow. Oh, a flock of birds. So cool. But yeah, I'm going to resume tomorrow so that we can celebrate <sighs> Bailey and Barbara's birthdays together. And I think I'm gonna throw a birthday party and invite the entire family. Oh, also, before I speed up the time, I received a couple of notifications saying that Andrew and Aiden's sons were apparently having babies with other sims. Ah, oh, yes, that's right. Uh, so, Blake Lemon Color, who is Andrew's and Juliet's son, first son, because after that they had triplets, uh, he got married to Casey Pancakes and she's pregnant with his child, which is pretty cool and I'm really excited to you know what you know the name of the baby the gender and all of that kind of stuff I'm so excited for this also Aiden and Bradley's son Boston he's had a baby with what's her name Makila Gandhi already then and apparently he's got someone else pregnant at some point oh wow he's from the she's from the Munch family that's interesting but yeah, he's got a baby as well, so the family is growing, you guys. Look at that. <laughs> so many grandchildren for Jeremiah and Azur. And now great-grandchildren. Oh, so cool. But yeah, basically this is the family tree and it's about to grow as he grow even bigger. So yeah. 
Anyway, now I'm going to resume tomorrow. Alright, so it's the next day, it's actually Monday and I had to have the girls take a day off from school so that we can celebrate their birthdays and spend some time with them. And I'm having River... Oh, there was a plane! I've never seen that, did you see? There was a plane back there, right there, just above River's shoulder. But anyway, I'm having River fish a little bit because this is actually his aspiration and I think he just caught a puffer fish, wow. But yeah, this is his aspiration. Uh, he actually uh, went on to the next milestone. Who's calling? Nobody. Um, but yeah, he's actually a fisherman. He likes that. So he's actually coming in here from time to time to spend some time alone, enjoy the nature, and yeah, fish for a little while. And he just keeps catching puffer fishes. That's going <laughs> Or actually, puffer fish, I should say. Anyway. Uh, Aquinish is taking care of the house. I've, I'm going to be using the same cake we did for River yesterday because nobody used it. But before celebrating the girls' birthdays, I would like for Bailey to complete her aspiration. And sh she's not far from reaching the level 10 of the modern skill, so it doesn't, it shouldn't take too long. Aiden, congratulations on your recent birthday. Sh thank you, Aiden. Uh, also, I might I managed during the night to have Barbara become companions with uh, Buster. Where is he? Buster right there. So they're companions. That's cool. And now all she needs is to become friends with two other animals. Uh, let's go and clean that up. And also, I received a notification saying that uh, where is it? No, no, no. Oh, there. Boston got married to the mother of his baby boy. I think he has a he has a son, right? What's his son name? <gasps> we have another baby, Devon. Oh, I love it. And Marco, Marco and Devon. Oh, so cool. What? There's only Eliza. Oh, she has a sister. Married to a feudist? Wow. Oh, wow. What is that? <laughs> Where did I go? <laughs> Emerson? What? Oh my god. She had... Oh, this is... This is Alice Patel. So she had... Oh, wow. <gasps> Oh my god, that's so messy! What is that? Okay, so Ali is actually Sio, Sioban, Sioban, I don't know. Oh my god, <laughs> what is that? Does Morgan have any children? I oh, guess she does! Oh wow, that's a messy thing. <laughs> Alrighty then! Anyway... Okay, so Barbara is cleaning up everything. She's really, really nice. What does she want to do? She wants to share some ideas. Oh, she's a de genius. I forgot that. Not good. Anyway, so I just want for them, you know, to clean up the house, work on their aspirations, and all of that kind of stuff. And soon enough, we're going to throw the birthday parties. Oh my god, Bailey. Okay. Uh, teach about responsibility. Let's do that. We also need to lecture her about what she just did. Because that's not good. Parenting, discipline, recent behavior. Punish. Ground for making a mess. Because that's enough. You know, look at that. She did that yesterday. And Barbara, can you come here? And can we lecture him? Lecture about playing in the trash. And then I would like for you... Oh. No leaving the house, no computer. Well, I think that Bailey really likes playing computer games, so no computer. Uh, let's ask Ginger what's wrong. Okay, so now, Bailey, I would like for you to go and play, please. Uh, well... What's... No, you're actually supposed to come here soon enough. And then... Barbara, I would like for you to give a bath to Buster. Give a bath. And during all that, 
River is enjoying his time here. Calm away from everyone. But he's right though. Look at that, he's so nice. Anyway. Bailey! Oh my god, play! <laughs> She's always doing that, oh my god. Okay, let's... You know what, this one, she's going to clean it up. Because that's enough. You're about to... To complete your aspiration. Junior looks in need of attention. Okay. Um... Aquini, can you go... And play with laser pointer. Let's go and hug her. And... Can we just pet her? Pet her. Let's go. I'm going to keep an eye on Bailey, because look at that. No Bailey! Play, <laughs> please! I think I'm going to give her the geek trait, but then, I don't know, either the evil trait or maybe the mean trait. There we go, aspiration achieved. Great! Okay, River, I need for you to come home. And I would like for you to parent your child and force to. We're going to force her to clean up mess. Where is she going? Oh, she's going to use the bathrooms. Well, then do that. Uh, Aquine, you're quite hungry. Oh, she wants to volunteer with family. Maybe after the birthday. Oh my god! Ginger! She's so sad. Talk to. Why is she so sad? Get to know. Maybe we can give her a big treat? Let's do that. Poor Ginger, where is Oreo? Oh, he's not on the vacuum today. Uh, what's going on, River? Oh, you need to use the bathrooms. Well then, let's do that and let's go take a shower. Bailey, I would like for you also to take a shower. I think I'm going to have her clean up the mess later on. Oops, didn't mean, didn't mean to do that. There we go. Uh, you're watching at that, that's fine. Um, what I'm going to do actually is maybe have Barbara, or actually pay the bills. And then I would like for you to throw the birthday party. Plan a social event. Wow, that was a messy day. <laughs> and you didn't pay the bills. Miss Stevie Flina. Okay, let's go and pay the bills. Wixana Zar... Okay, so we're gonna go for a birthday party. Let's go. The birthday sims are going to be Bailey and Barbara and the guests. So we are going to have Aquine, River, Bradley, Alice, um, Isabella, Andrew. Oh, she doesn't know her uncle Aiden. We can invite Dahlia. Brandon Pizzazz. Uh, Demi Lee. Oh, let's go and invite her. Hmm. You know what? I'm actually going to have Aquine throw the birthday party. Plan a social event because I think Aquine knows more people. I really thought that Barbara knew more people than that. Why this face, Aquine? <laughs> okay, uh, birthday party! Here we go again. So, we're going to have River and Aquine as the guests. Uh, not Tess, because she actually just went away for some reason. Andrew, Aiden, we can invite Boston maybe. Uh, Alice and Isabella, Juliet, Charles. Is there someone else from the family? Um, well I think that's it, we don't need more people. Okay, we're gonna go to the lemon color household. Where is it? This one. There we go, and Aquina is quite hungry actually. Okay, so let's have you um, get some leftovers. Uh, I would like for you, River, to take a day off. Oh, he can retire now. Well, maybe later. Why is he angry? Why is Boston angry? Oh my god. Oh, is that a pancake? I mean, <laughs> you know what I mean. Oh, this is Caitlyn! Alrighty then. 
And this is Juliet. Hey, we haven't gathered in a while. Perhaps we should all meet. Uh, no thank you. We're kind of busy right now. Yeah, this is a club. You know, this is the Garden Gnomes, actually. And Agrin and River took over it. What are you doing, Barbara? Why are you doing that? You know what? Let's go and talk to your cousin. The little anger? What? I, I don't even know what that means. Let me see. What does that mean? Oh, I think this is mean. No, don't do that, Barbara. You're not a mean person. Let's go and do a friendly introduction. We need to have Sims play together. Why is everyone going upstairs? I don't understand. Apparently this bathroom is disgusting and I don't know why. Okay, River, I would like for you to serve some food. Let's go and serve lunch. We're gonna go for something uh, vegetarian safe because I don't remember who's vegetarian and who's not. Oh, Barbara, look who's here. This is Isabella. Let's go and get to know her. Oh, where is she? And Elise is here as well. We should talk to them. Really. Um, let's go and thank for coming. Share brilliant ideas. And ask for reassurance. Is she pregnant? I think Alice is pregnant. Oh, that's so cool. Self-deprecating joke. You know what? I want to see we cannot ask her if she's seeing someone right now. But I would have liked to know. Well, I mean... We're supposed to throw the, you know, blow the candles soon enough, so we will be able to know if she has someone in her life or not. Uh, Aquini, did you eat something? Why are you going to cry them? She's the only one who goes there and cries her parents and her pets. Aiden, why are you doing some yoga? Oh, look at the brothers! We actually see them quite often, especially Andrew. Andrew and Aquini are really, really close to each other. Okay, so Bailey... Oh my god, she made a mess again. You know what? Come here. She's going to be the first one to age up, I think. I've had enough of Bailey as a child. But I kind of want to give her the evil trait. I think it would suit her pretty well. And maybe once she will age up to a young adult, maybe I can give her the geek trait. Because I really see her as being a geek. Okay, uh, let's go and blow out the candles. Where is Barbara? Aquine, River is here. That's fine. Everyone is around there. Okay, so I will need to take a screenshot of this. Can you reach the cake? <gasps> oh, this is perfect. Oh, look at that. Her uncle is behind her. This is such a perfect position, I think. <laughs> okay, let's go. I really wonder what she's going to look like. Ooh. Oh, she looks great, I think. She has she looks way more like her dad. So for Bailey, uh can I I can give her the evil trait. I really think that I'm going to give her the evil trait. And I kinda want for her to have the city native aspiration. Because I really see her not being happy in this environment, you know, in Brindleton Bay. She really wants to to go and live in the city. She doesn't like being in the countryside and all of that kind of stuff. Okay, let's... Can you... Come on, add birthday candles before anyone takes a piece of cake. I was so afraid right there. <laughs> okay, uh, so let's go for Barbara. Blow out the candles. And so Barbara is going to age up to a young adult. And sadly, she cannot really work as a, veter as a vet veterinarian right now. So I don't really know where I can... What kind of job I can give her. Okay, so Barbara, she... Oh my god, my cat just passed by. So she's a cat lover, she's a genius, she's a friend of the animal. Um, what can I give her? I really see her as being someone really friendly. And... I don't know. 
a foodie, music lover. She's not really a perfectionist though, you know? She doesn't care if things are, aren't perfect or not, you know? She, she doesn't care. Maybe outgoing or a bro, or maybe just a good person. I think Aquin is a good sim, so maybe not twice. Dance machine. Oh, she actually really likes playing the violins, violin, so maybe I can give her the music lover trait? I think I'm gonna do that. <laughs> She's kind of a neutral person, Barbara. Oh, Jeremiah sent her a gift. Okay, so we need to eat some cake. Let's go and call to meal. Who's meowing like that? What's going on? Oh, and I really need to give Bailey a makeover. Okay, who was she? Oh, she was hugging her father. Okay. Alrighty then, so everyone is aged up and you've got to see a little bit of the family. It's quite, it was quite messy, but... I mean, Bailey, she's, she's not the nicest person and she's quite complicated to deal with. But I really like her character, actually. And I was more thinking of having Barbara as being the heir. Because, you know, she looks exactly like her mother and her grandmother. But on the other hand, I really, really like Bailey's personality. And I kind of want to play oops, play as her later on. And, I don't know, I'm more attracted on working towards this aspiration than the other one. For some reason. I don't know. Or maybe I can just play with both of them. But I need to find one of them as being the heir, you know, so as to continue on the legacy. But yeah. Anyway. This was cool actually to show you the family and do you know a current household? It's been a while. I really like sharing my current household with you guys. So I hope that you enjoyed this video as well and that you're happy to see this family back. And don't forget to tell me what you think in the comments and I will talk to you in my next video, you guys. Bye everyone! <laughs>